Hi boys and girls, how are you all? It's Wendy here and it's time for story time together again. Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Do you see my lovely sparkling Christmas tree? That's because we're going to be keeping on with our Christmas stories and I love these stories. I'm very excited to do them. Today's one is about Mary and Joseph and that's Jesus's mum and dad. So we're going to get started. A long time ago, there was a young, poor girl who lived in a little village and she was engaged to a man called Joseph. Her name was Mary. Now, one day Mary was at home when suddenly a tall, shining angel appeared beside her. His name was Gabriel and he was a messenger from heaven. When Mary saw this shining man, she was frightened. Don't be afraid, he said to her. You are very special to God. He is with you. Well, Mary looked around her all confused. Is he speaking to me, she wondered, but there was nobody else in the room with her. So she nervously peeked back up at the angel and he laughed with joy and he said, Mary, God is happy with you. He is with you. You're going to have a baby and he is a boy, a little boy, and you're going to call him Jesus. He is God's own son. He is the one who is going to rescue the world. Do you hear that, boys and girls? A little baby boy is going to rescue the world? Isn't that crazy news to get? One day, whenever you're in your room by yourself and an angel comes to you, you're going to have a baby who's going to rescue the world? Well, how on earth can this be true, Mary said to the angel. Well, nothing is too wonderful for God, the angel said. The Holy Spirit will come with or come on you and God's power is going to fill you and you are going to have this baby. He is going to be holy. He is God's own son. I love God, Mary said. Whatever God asks of me, I am going to do. She believed everything the angel told her. And you know what she did? She started to praise God as the angel disappeared. He left her again. She praised God and she sang to him and she said, God is holy. He is mighty. He is full of kindness. God has done great things for me. Now, around the same time, an angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream and he said, don't be scared to marry Mary, the angel said, because this baby that she's having is from the Holy Spirit. He is to be called Jesus and he is coming to rescue the world. So Joseph married Mary and together they waited for this promised baby who was going to change the world. And sure enough, it was just as the angel said, because in nine months later, Mary was almost ready to have her baby. Now, Mary and Joseph, they had to take this long journey to a place called Bethlehem. This is the town where King David was from. And when they got to this little town, they found that every room was full. There was nowhere for them to stay. No room here, the innkeeper shouted. We have no beds left for you to sleep in. Oh dear, this is not very good news because Mary's little baby was very going to be born very soon and she was really tired. Well, at last, one innkeeper said to them, I have somewhere where you can stay. And he led them to an old, drafty, cold, quite a big bit smelly stable because that's where all his animals stayed. And that's where Mary and Joseph stayed. And that's where baby Jesus was born. And I'm going to tell you more about that in another story. But do you know what, boys and girls? This is just the most wonderful news. And this is why I love reading and hearing these Christmas stories. Because God's wonderful gift to us came in the form of a baby boy many years ago. His son born in a drafty, cold, smelly stable amongst the chicken, the donkeys and the cows. Isn't that wonderful? Do you love Christmas? I've told you I love Christmas. I love presents. I love giving presents as much as I love getting presents. I love the trees. I love the sparkly lights. I love singing carols and I love watching Christmas movies. But most of all, I love remembering that this is the time when baby Jesus was born and that's why we celebrate Christmas. 
It's not about the presents and the trays. It's about Jesus. And just like Mary and Joseph believed Jesus or believed God's word all those years ago and they did what God asked them, God wants you to believe in him too. He wants to come and live inside you and change your life. And he wants to help you be kind and to love others well. That's what he wants to do for us. That's how much he loves us. So what about this week? Do you think we could share God's love with somebody this week? Let them know that we celebrate Christmas because of Jesus, for who he is and what he did for us. I think we could do that this week. And I think that we could ask God to help us love others well too. So what about as I finish, will we pray together? I'm gonna to close my eyes and I'm gonna put out my hands and I'm just gonna ask God what it is he wants to say to us. Do you want to do that? Dear God, I thank you that you're here with us now and I thank you for every boy and girl and every grown up listening today. Holy Spirit, help us know you and sense your presence. Lord, help us believe in you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending him to the earth as a tiny baby all those years ago to save the world. Thank you for your gift to us. Help us, Lord, love others well. Come into our lives. Help us know you. We love you and thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a really good rest of week. And I'm going to see you again soon because I've got more Christmas stories to tell you. Take care, everybody. Bye.